So, one breakfast I absolutely love is Eggs Benedict, and you know what, what's with all this low carb stuff we're doing? Uh, I'm doing the low carb specifically, uh, right now I'm repairing with it, high fat low carb. Um, I also just weighed myself for the first time in months today, and I started the low carb thing last, ooh, end of last May. Uh, then I started introducing high fat into it as well. And I weighed myself today and I'm five pounds up, which seems very odd. However, I'm five inches down around the waist. So if you know anything about anything, and I don't go to the gym, I don't train or anything like that, I just go for walks, you will know that I burnt off fat and gained lean muscle. That's what happens. So we're right here cooking one of my favorite breakfasts that I've not really been able to eat without, you know, I've just not really been able to eat. So we're here with the executive chef and George Foreman too. When I get the thing working. Here's George Foreman. Oh, actually it's not George Foreman, it's George Foreman's grill. Yes. George now if you've got one of those laying around that you've not used for a while, here's a great tool for it. So with the executive keto chef, Gary Trey once again, and what are we? Where are we up to? I know we've okay, got. Okay, well, I decided to break out my George Foreman because I know everyone has one somewhere, and you know, some George Foreman is a great. Uh, the George Foreman Grill is a great product. You know, you can just do it right in your house. It's easy. It's fast. It's even heating, and it also you don't have to go out and use your grill for this, because what we're doing is we're making an eggs Benedict that's just done a little bit differently. Normally, traditional eggs Benedict. Is done with um, English muffin, Canadian bacon, poached egg, hollandaise over the top. Very, very simple, very easy. I really enjoy doing things a little bit on different. So this is the portobello mushroom that I have, and I've it's, been it's um, two, surely. Excuse me, two portobello mushrooms, very large. And what I did is when I got them at the store, um, I took off the stem and I also removed the internal the internal fibers, and I just used a spoon and just very, very carefully did that. Brushed down the um, uh, uh, mu mushroom with a garlic oil, like we did for the other shop. Yep. And now what I'm gonna do is, instead of using Canadian bacon, mm -hmm. I absolutely love pastrami. So this is a complete variation, totally different for a, um, for an eggs Benedict. It's, so it's not that we have anything at all whatsoever against Canadians. We have to clarify that. They're wonderful people. Love Canadians. Uh, Keep sending the bacon over. Exactly. But what we're going to do is we're going to do this with a, um, with a pastrami. So what we're going to do is I'm just going to kind of leave it open a little bit. And then what I'm also going to do is I'm also now, now this is my boiling poaching water. And what I did is I got this really, really hot. And I added in a little bit of salt and a little bit of white vinegar. And, and that is just gonna season the water so that way the egg will have just a wonderful, um, a little bit of a vinegar taste. And that just really, actually believe it or not, really improves it. Just to go back onto the, uh, just to go back onto the mushroom, why do you remove the fibers and stem? Is there because in fact, number one, they, they end up, that I don't like them, I think they taste like crap, and you don't, you don't need them. Okay. They so, have it from the executive pedo chef. They taste like crap. Okay. And so you don't need those fibers in there. So all I'm doing is I'm just heating up this. Um, and you're cooking this on an open grill. I'm just cooking this on an open. I started off with that. Once I get that on there, when you're dealing with pastrami or corned beef, you don't really want to cook it. All you want to do is you want to heat it up. And to be able to do that, I'm also going to take a few little shrimps and I'm going to throw those on there. This is a really... Um, an interesting way of doing a are those, egg benedict. Are those peeled? Oh yeah, they're peeled and, and debanked. Okay. And they're very, very nice. And don't forget, Tony, we also have a um, a bacon hash that we made, and anyone can see that on one of our. Uh, well, you stuff. you eat the bacon, and I'll smoke the. Oh, never mind. Doesn't matter. Okay. And then I just have a little bit of cilantro. Oh. Or a little bit of garnish because I love cilantro. I and love I also, cilantro, yeah. I also have an avocado right here. By the and way, guys, if you're watching in the UK, cilantro in the UK is called coriander. I was going to say, I thought it was called coriander. Yeah, coriander. Not coriander seeds, coriander. 
So, avocado, just take your knife very, very carefully, give it a little bit of a whack, and give it a, a little bit of a twist, okay? The seed will pop right out, and you have that right there. Just as a waiver, guys, if you get injured doing that, it's your own fault. Exactly. So, and then what I'm going to do is I'm just going to slice down my avocado. Show what you're doing there, okay. Just going to slice it down like that. Yep. Get some nice slices going. And uh, let me see, what happened to my spoon right there? And I'm going to take my spoon, I'm going to grab this spoon as well. And I'm going to take my hot glue and I'm just going to go right over the top of the eggs and start doing that. So you do not want to get your water on a boil. Okay. Um, poached eggs, you want to keep very, very light, very delicate. So you're on a medium heat? I'm on a medium heat. I started off with a bit of oil, and then once I added in the eggs, I just let it on a slow cook. And it's gonna it's gonna be bubbling, but it's not like if it's bubbling where you have a lot of stuff going around, you're you're going way too high. So guys, if you got any questions for Gary, this is live. So just type them on the stream, and we are making low carb eggs. But this this is just getting like. We got the shrimp, we got the portobello, we got the pastrami, we got the eggs, we got. Ah. This is, like I said, this is just a variation of it. You can do a traditional, but why do traditional? You know, if you're going to do traditional, then you might as well have the English muffin. Yeah, that's the challenge, is it's the muffin that kills it. Yeah, the muffin is, uh, and I love English muffins, and I love traditional eggs Benedict, but you know something, we have to change and, and do things better, unless I can come up with a way of making an English muffin that's completely no color. I'm sure you can. can. So we're going to let this continue. So gonna... just on this one, because I know someone has joined us, and this is very pertaining to, to myself, someone has joined us uh, on the stream here, who's a, a friend of mine, I actually stayed at his place, and he's suffering from some injuries. I will tell you that I have recovered from injury by eating this way. Uh, Ten days ago I could walk maybe half a mile to a coffee shop and had to, had to rest. I have walked probably 70 to 80 miles in six days in LA, three days after that. And it's all from increasing the fats, cutting the carbs right down. Um, so it's not just for taste this, it's for health. So if you've got anything that's inflammation based... Again, which, Tony, hey I have... Uh... I have um, uh, arthritis of the spine oh, okay. and two torn rotator cuffs. And since I've been on this diet, I've been in my in the gym. I've been doing the bench press again. You know, I haven't been able to do bench press in years. I'm doing bench press again, being able to do all that. It's changing my life. So just to clarify here, we use the term diet, and people assume it's like, oh, I'm being restricted and blah 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 blah. No, this is not. This is not. This is eat all you want when you're hungry. Uh, it's just a way of eating. It's not a diet where you're measuring anything out. If you are training for a competition and you want to go into a strict ketogenic diet, yeah, then sometimes you've got to measure some things. This is just a way of eating. You know, cut out the cut out the starches, cut out the the starchy carbs, the breads, the pastas, and we, we're going to find ways to make all that low carb or no carb. Oh, I've forgotten about that. Now, Tony, this this is a this is really really good. We this is the um, I want to find a, a different spoon. This is the uh, uh, bacon hash, and it is just come out. This is strictly kosher, yeah. Oh yeah, it's completely kosher. Just okay. Kidding. Um, and uh, and so I want you to come out over and take a look at this. And this is we made on a previous show, so you can take a look at it. And all this is, is just onions, peppers, two different kinds of peppers, um, lots of um, peppered bacon, and, um, and also zucchini. And I'll tell you, it's complete alternative to normal hash, but you can do something like this. And folks, the flavor is amazing. And the smell, it has a little bit of fresh rosemary in it. A little bit of garlic, it's awesome. If you want to know how to cook that, we uploaded the bacon hash uh, and directly onto the page, the Executive Keto Chef. So, uh, it's on there. You know, this stuff is all going to be coming out. This is all, you know, it's all new. We just started putting it together. But we'd really appreciate if you like this stuff, and you like the recipes, and you like the videos, invite as many people as you can to have a look at it, because it really is... Uh, 
So but now, not your, do your doctor might not agree with us, but this is actually the healthiest way to eat. And it's all becoming apparent now and coming out now. And there's actually a conference about this with the leading people in the world in San Diego, end of July. Uh, all, of, all about this stuff. So you've got authors, you've got chefs, you've got uh, professional sports people, all waking up to this way of eating. Hey, I may come back here, you know. I think you should. Yeah. I think you should. So all we did is we took the portobello mushroom, put it on the plate, added the pastrami, and we did that. Now I'm going to take my hollandaise that I made. We're going to have a special show just on hollandaise. That one we will, I won't do a live on that one. That we're one do we'll a, do an upload. Uh, that one I think we're going to do on an upload. We're going to do a couple variations. This one looks like it, it, it's split just a little bit, just very, 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 very little. I'm going to try to give it a little bit more of a whip, and there we go. There's, there's, a, a, there's an art to making French sauce. Yeah, it's an it really is. Sometimes I, I don't have. Pain. So we're going to take that and go right over the top there. Give it a couple spoonfuls. Normally it's supposed to be very, very uh, smooth and, and rich. This one just came out just not, I think I let it set for just a little yeah, bit too long, it's been sat there but that's okay, that's okay, it's still going to taste great, and then from there what I'm going to do is I'm going to find my glasses so that way I can see the next step, and be able to do that, then grab a spoon, I'm going to take my sliced avocado, start off at the top, and I'm going to do that, I'm going to grab three pieces, right over the top there like that, Grab the other side. And folks, I'm just kind of doing this really, really fast for you. So that way I'm not taking up too much of your time. And be able to do that. I'm going to grab a couple of these shrimp. Put one over there, one over there. One there. One there. And then I've got some fresh cilantro. There. And you can't beat fresh cilantro. And... Just absolutely love this dish. And folks, there you go. This is my version of doing uh, an alternative uh, eggs benedict. And with a, um, and that just looks pretty darn good. All that juice is coming off from the oh. bacon hash and, and everything. It's uh, portobello mushrooms, pastrami, um, poached eggs, uh, avocado, grilled shrimp um, for a, uh, a um, eggs benedict and then of course we have our our hash which is really really nice so a quick one guys you know mm -hmm. for a sunday morning for the family would your kids eat that because i'll tell you right now it's healthier than the crap that comes out of the box uh your doctor will start telling you about cholesterol and all the rest of it which is complete bs we've found out and apparently if you're an executive keto chef it's perfectly fine to stick your hand in a bowl of pastrami eat it raw uh, actually, it's okay for anyone. It's the Jew and me. So, from wine country, from wine country, we're fueling up before we go out and visit some wineries today. Yes, sir. Okay, I hate being called sir, you know that. Sorry. Um, and we may have a glass of wine or 20. I was going to say, I think more like 20. 20, okay. So the videos may get a little entertaining and as usual with my videos, I really don't care. If it's funny, it's worth doing. So from the Executive Keto Chef, uh, appreciate if you like the page, share if you like, like this Like the share it with your friends. We're gonna have tons of cooking. We're gonna do tons of different series too. If you like this video, and this stuff, I'm, I'm gonna get off here because this is just too good. If you like the video, share it out there, guys. I mean, it's for sharing. It's for getting the message out there. It's a way to eat. So if you don't want any families or anything like that, you don't, know to, you know, don't know what to make that's healthy for the family, this is ideal. Just share it out there. So, guys. Oh, come on, let's eat. All right. So, from here, we're out of here. Adios.